I can determine if a function is linear or nonlinear. So basically linear means it makes a straight line. So if I look at a graph and I see that uh, the equation is graphed a straight line, I would say it's linear. Uh, same with this, doesn't matter whether it's going up or down, as long as it's a straight line, it is linear. If you look at a graph and it's not in a straight line, we would say it is nonlinear. So here we've got a parabola curve. Um, here we've got the function x cubed minus 7, and it makes like an S curve. Um, but you can see very clearly neither of those is a straight line, so we call it nonlinear functions. That's easy when you see it graphed, but uh, when you're looking at something without it being graphed, uh, let's just say an input-output table, a mapping diagram, uh, perhaps just the equation, then we've got an issue here. Uh, linear functions have a constant rate of change, and we'll talk about what that means, and nonlinear functions have a varied rate of change. So let's get busy. This is an example of a linear function. Um, I've already got the table uh, graphed right here so we can see it and we can prove that this function is a straight line. But we're going to pretend like we don't see the graph and see what it would look like. Um, we need to find its rate of change and we've had previous lessons on that so let's put that skill to good use. As the x goes up by 1 you'll notice that y goes up by 3. And I've taken the liberty of showing you that uh, because the x's keep going up by 1, the rate of change keeps on changing by 3 each time. We would say that uh, the rate of change is constant because every single time we checked on that table, we got the exact same rate of change. Um, because it's constant, it lets it go up 3 and over 1, up 3 and over 1, and it makes the straight line that we're looking for. So if you see um, a table that constantly gets you the same rate of change, we would say it's constant, but that means that it is a linear function. So uh, let's take a look at a nonlinear function. This is definitely nonlinear. In case you're wondering, this is uh, the equation of y equals x squared. Um, you take the x value and you square it and it gets you the output. Um, let's go through and, and check the rate of change on the table and we'll see that it is varied. It's, it's going to be different every single time. In this particular instance, x is going up by 1 each time, so that makes it a little bit easier. But the y... Um, well, you can see it goes up by 1 here, then it goes up from 1 to 4, so that's an increase of 3. 4 to 9 is an increase of 5, uh, then it goes up by 7. Um, it has a varied rate of change, and because it's varied, that means it has to be nonlinear. So if we wanted to check this without graphing it, as soon as you know that the uh, rate of change is, is not constant, you would just go ahead and say, hey, it's a nonlinear function. Now, what do we do when we just have an equation given to us? Uh, this rule isn't too hard to, to learn here. If we have an equation given to us, please focus on what's happening with this x value or the, the input variable. If uh, the exponent is 1, we'd say it's linear. And right now, I've probably got some people saying, well, it doesn't have an exponent. If it doesn't have an exponent, really it means it's an invisible 1. It means it's raised to the first power. And so we would say y equals 2x plus 2 is linear. If I said y equals x squared plus 1, as soon as you see that it's to the second power or higher, we can instantly just stop everything you're doing and classify it as being nonlinear. It's a rule that works every single time. So y equals 3x to the fourth power plus 5. Pay attention to the exponent right there, and you would know that it is nonlinear. As far as y equals uh, 4x um, plus 1, that would be linear because it's raised to the first power. So I'm not looking at the y. I'm not looking at the number in front of y. I'm not looking to see if it's plus or minus. I'm not looking at the number down here. The only thing that I'm looking for is 
what's the exponent on the x value? That's the only thing. If it's um, to the first power or nothing is really shown there, I know it is linear. If it's to the second power or higher, it's to the fourth, this is to the second, then it's nonlinear. And that's all you have to remember when you're looking at the equations. So now, uh, if we're given the equations, we can determine if it's linear or nonlinear. If we're given the table, uh, we take a look at its rate of change, and if it's varied, we say it's nonlinear. If we're giving um, a table or a mapping diagram, we see that it's the same rate of change every single time. We know that it's going to make a linear graph. And... Um, just please keep in mind that constant means it's, it's the same thing over and over, and varied means it's changed. So take a look at the practice problems that I have and ask questions if you have them as always.